Hey guys, my name is Scobie and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up and install Android apps on your PC. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing I need to do in today's video is come to this link. Links is always in the description down below. And this is going to be for the BlueStacks website. This is the software we're going to be using in today's video. It's going to allow us to basically run a full version of Android on our PC. All we need to do is come here. We're going to be coming up to the menu tab here at the top. And we're going to be clicking on the download the BlueStacks button. Now, once you click this, a download should begin. It's only a couple of megabytes in size and should appear in the bottom left of your browser. From this point, we can feel free to click it here. All you need to do is double click to select the file. We need to click yes on the Windows pop-up that comes up. And then we will get this Blue stacks pop up that shows up here. So if you'd like to click this customize installation option right here, we can get some more information, including where we actually want to install this file, the space required and the remaining space. From this point, we can click back out of here. You can also sign up to receive email notifications if you would like. However, for me, I'm only going to be accepting the software license. From this point, all you need to do is click install now, and then we will be installing about half a gig of the software. So we'll be able to install among us. This will take a couple seconds to a couple of minutes, depending on your internet and computer. And after the download is done, it will start to install and extract all the necessary files, which again can take some time. And once this is done, our BlueStacks will then start to be set up and this will take a couple minutes on your computer. Now, when you first install BlueStacks, you may have an issue on your computer that you do not have assisted virtualization set up. However, it is really easy to set up. I'm not going to be doing it in today's video as it is a little bit different for every computer, depending on the motherboard and the type of processor you have. So what I would recommend doing is checking out the FAQ that they have right here. You can get some different information if this is an issue for you. This will not be an issue for all computers. It'll only be an issue from some PCs that don't have it set up previously although it is really easy to set up and once it's done it'll be done for forever if you would like me to do a follow-up video where i show you step by step how to do this i can do this of course let me know in the comments down below if this is something you'd like me to do so from this point after we get into blue stacks we will be prompted to sign into google play and i will mention at this point you are going to need a gmail account to be able to do this or if you already have an existing gmail account you can also feel free to sign in here with this you will keep all your progress across from your android login to your desktop login so it's really nice that we can have this back and forth compatibility what we need to do from this point is click sign in or if you don't already have a gmail account i'll be leaving a link in the description down below where you can create one it's really easy to do it's just like creating a normal gmail account once you've logged into your gmail account here on bluestacks we're going to be coming to our homepage. we're going to be clicking on the google play store here or for most people it should actually open by default so once you have the play store open you should be able to search for and install most apps for today's video i'm just going to be installing among us as an example but of course you can search for and install any other apps this is great if you want to play any sort of mobile games but on a pc it allows for a lot of flexibility ability with this. Now from this point we can simply click open and our Among Us will start to open right away. Now the nice thing about this is if we look over here on the right it actually supports both keyboard and controller support and you can set up and play it just like you would a computer inside this system. Now if you would like to remap any of the buttons or controls here what we can do is come down to the bottom right of this menu click on the edit option and if we want to change any of the mappings we simply click on it then select whatever key you would like to save it to and then click save on the bottom right and you can really easily update your controls just like this. Anyway guys, it's as easy as that to install and use Android apps on your PC. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new, check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if found these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.